humans have naturally evolved to be uneasy around bugs, and for good reason. Let's not forget that the number one killer of humans in this world is an insect, the mighty mosquito. There are some 900,000 different kinds of living insects known to man, and about 4 million have not yet been examined or even named. One thing is for sure though, bugs can be very weird. And they give the heebie-jeebies to a lot of people. From a ruthless mercenary of a larva that becomes one of the most beloved insects out there, to a bug that looks like a futuristic helicopter, here are the 20 weirdest insects on Earth. Number 20. Hickory Horned Devil Caterpillar the royal walnut moth is one of the largest and most impressive moths in the world. And of course, its larva is nothing short of imposing and spectacular as well. It is known as the hickory horned devil and, fair disclaimer, if you're scared of bugs, don't watch this. This mean looking caterpillar spends most of its early life up in a hickory tree, hence its name. But when it's fully grown, roughly the size of an index finger, it comes down the tree to wander in search of a site for pupation. But as scary as this larva looks, it's actually a fascinating and important member of the United States fauna, and it should never be killed. If you're not afraid of bugs, and you see one of these horned devils crawling on a pavement or in an area of thick turf grass, you should consider moving it to an area of soft soil where it's easier for it to burrow. These caterpillars live only in the eastern deciduous forest areas of the United States, from New Jersey to Missouri, and southward to eastern Texas and central Florida. Unfortunately, it seems like the species has been dramatically declining in numbers since 2005. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Goliath Beetle these spectacular beetles were named after the biblical giant Goliath, and it's easy to see the reason why. They are simply the largest insects on the entire planet. Male Goliath beetles measure on average 2 to 4 to 4.3 inches, with females being slightly smaller, measuring from 2 to 3.1 inches. When they're fully grown, they can weigh up to 100 grams. Goliath beetles are members of the subfamily Cetanianae within the family Scarabaeidae. They live in most of Africa's tropical forests, and they mainly feed on tree sap and fruit. Unfortunately, not a lot is known about their larva cycle in the wild. However, in captivity, goliath beetles have been successfully reared from egg to adulthood by feeding them a protein-rich diet using foods such as cat and dog food. These amazing beetles are not only impressive by their size, but also by their strength. They can lift a load about 850 times heavier than their own weight. Imagine if we could do something like that. The peculiar Y-shaped horn on their head is mainly used for fighting, particularly males, while looking for a female to mate. Number 18. Tailed Emperor Caterpillar this gorgeous black and white butterfly lives in the Brisbane area of Queensland in Australia. But the tailed emperor caterpillar looks totally different. If you look closely to this leaf, you'll see that there is a larva there. It almost looks like a miniature bright green dragon. It has a four-horned head and it looks very frightening, like a large shield. But in fact, this animal is absolutely harmless. However, it is particularly big. The tailed emperor caterpillar grows into a length of about 8 centimeters. When it becomes a pupa, it usually hangs by its cremaster from a stem of its food plant or a bush nearby. The pupa is as bright green as the larva, so predators can't spot it. The butterfly is one of the most breathtaking species in the world, with a wingspan of 11 centimeters and also one of the largest. Number 17. Giant Weta this is one of the largest insects on Earth. It easily dwarfs most bugs and even some small rodents. As you can see, it looks like a mean and huge locust, but this New Zealand native is much more than that. Here are some interesting facts about this fascinating species. Not only is the giant weta one of the largest insects in the world, it is also the heaviest. Oh, look, they won't bite.
In fact, it can weigh up to two and a half ounces. They can be quite aggressive too, so if you ever see one, try to stay away. The name Weta comes from the Maori word Weta Punga, which means God of Ugly Things. And its genus name, Dinacrita, means terrible grasshopper. This poor guy definitely didn't win the lottery when it comes to names. Apparently, they go nuts for carrots. Actually, a video of a man feeding the massive insect a carrot went viral. Despite its similar appearance to a locust or a grasshopper, the giant Weta is incapable of jumping. Their species is in high alert of extinction because rats love to snack on them, so much so that they are now considered limited to the little barrier island. Like many other insects, the giant Weta doesn't have lungs. Instead, it breathes through its exoskeleton. Basically, there are tiny little holes in the Weta's exterior shell connected to tubes that pump oxygen to every single one of the cells in its body. Isn't that cool? Number 16. Thorn Bug Okay, so have you ever touched a spiky rose bush? It hurts, doesn't it? Well, thorn bugs get their name because they have a big thorn growing from their little bodies. This bug can actually be a very nasty pest sometimes. It uses its thorn-like protuberance to pierce the plant tissue and then suck the sap. This causes extensive damage to plants, but the thorn on their backs can also be used as camouflage. Basically, when a bird or a larger predatory insect sees them, they instantly think it's just another thorn of the plant. so they just don't even notice that they're there. They live in South and Central America, Mexico, and Southern Florida. The female thorn bugs lay their eggs in the tender bark or twigs. The egg hatches about 20 days later. The female takes good care of her colony, which can be up to 50 individuals. That's a large family, isn't it? She actually has a chemical communication that helps her in the defense of younglings. The chemical passes from the parent to the nymph, making the little ones distasteful and even disgusting to potential predators. Number 15. Devil's Flower Mantis this is one of the largest species of praying mantis in the world. By the way, have you ever wondered why these insects are called praying mantis? They get that name for their prominent front legs, which are bent and held together at an angle that suggests the position of a person praying. They use those arms to hunt prey, mainly airborne insects. The devil's flower mantis hunts by impersonating a flower. It remains motionless for as long as it takes. The objective is to seduce the insect into its striking zone. When an unsuspected expected victim gets too close, the mantis then makes use of its legs to grasp and maintain a strong grip on the prey. The mandibles are then wielded as formidable weapons to decapitate and devour the prey. But its prey is not the only thing that the mantis likes to decapitate. Like in many insect species, the female is considerably larger than the male, and during the mating process, the female sometimes decapitates the male mantis and eats him right then and there. This is because, for some reason, the female mantis, in the process, of copulating adopts predatorial instincts, which often conclude with the female devouring the head of the male. It is one of the few animals that exhibit sexual cannibalism. Number 14. Giant Prickly Stick Insect also known as the spiny leaf insect, this is a large species of Australian stick insect. As you can see, they're very hard to discern from an ordinary twig or little branch because their camouflage is outstandingly perfect. Female giant prickly stick insects can grow up to 20 centimeters in length. The males are considerably smaller and thinner. But both sexes, when threatened, stand up on their front and middle legs, pointing their abdomen up to the side, kind of like a scorpion pose. They have sharp spines on the rear legs that are strong enough to puncture human skin. A fun fact about the giant prickly stick insect is that adults can make a clicking sound when they feel scared. That means they're also releasing a defensive odor that, for some reason, smells just like toffee. This insect's reproductive abilities are also quite fascinating. When there are no males around, the female specimens can lay eggs without fertilization. They take a lot longer to hatch, nine months in fact, and they can only produce other females with this method, but it works just fine. Talk about female power! Number 13. Scorpion Fly Take a look at this terrifying looking insect. It has the body of a fly and the sting of a scorpion. Just imagine if these things were the same size as a regular scorpion. Yikes. 
Thankfully, scorpion flies are much smaller than your ordinary scorpion, and they've been around for a long, long time. As early as the Middle Jurassic period, actually, so these guys actually cohabitated with dinosaurs. Cool, huh? They are closely related to the pesky fleas and are more remotely related to flies. Their scientific name is Macoptera, and scientists think that early Macopteras may have played a crucially important role in pollinating extinct species of plants before the evolution of other pollinator insects, like bees. However, modern Macopteras do not feed on pollen, but they are actually brutal predators or consumers of dead organisms. In fact, they are the first instincts to arrive at a cadaver. That's why forensic etymologists frequently use them to determine when a victim has died. They also have a very special importance in the evolution of the insects. In one way or another, all three main insect families of today have probably evolved from ancestors belonging to, or strictly related to, the scorpion fly. Number 12. Spiny Flower Mantis as we've already covered earlier in this video, praying mantises are pretty hardcore. I mean, we get that your husband may annoy you and all, but to cut his head off and eat it? That's a bit too much. And the spiny flower mantis is no exception. Just like the devil's flower mantis, this one also mimics a flower to confuse and lure in unsuspecting prey. They are white with orange and green strips, and the adult specimens have a gorgeous patch of color on their wings that looks like a pair of eyes. They actually use their giant eye-like patterns to scare away potential predators, which is quite ingenious. They can grow to approximately 4 to 5 inches in length, and in this particular species, females and males look pretty similar. Number 11. Pus Moth Caterpillar also known as asps or Megalopagia percularis, these are one of the most toxic caterpillars in North America. They are endemic to the south of the United States, and they usually live in shade trees or shrubbery around houses and schools and in parks. So you can imagine how dangerous they can be, especially with children around. The pus moth caterpillar produces two generations per year, one in late spring and one in late fall, which means that twice a year there's a high potential of being stung by one of these. Envenomation from the pus moth caterpillar causes intense throbbing pain, burning, and a rash with spots. In some cases, the victim can also experience swelling, nausea, abdominal pain, and even respiratory distress. If you ever find yourself in a situation where you've been in contact with one of these caterpillars, the recommendation is to thoroughly wash your skin with soap and water, put an ice pack on the affected area, and most importantly, putting tape on the site and then pulling it off in a sudden movement to remove any embedded hairs. Some people also claim that applying a baking soda slurry can also ease the pain. Number 10. Long-Legged Armored Katydid The scientific name for this terrifying-looking insect is Acanthoplus discoidalis, and it's native to the African bush across Namibia, Botswana, Zimbabwe, and South Africa. Despite looking absolutely unappetizing to us, the long-legged armored katydid makes a very good snack for a lot of different predators. And that's why this little guy possesses a remarkably diverse array of defensive measures. The long-legged armored katydid can even deploy different defense strategies against different threats, or also progressively against the same predator if none has worked to deter the attack. In military terms, this insect is a total genius. Although some of the strategies of our friend here can be extremely clever, some others can be gross. As their name suggests, their first line of defense is their armored exoskeleton, which is also covered in spines. Their jaws are surprisingly strong as well. They can even draw blood on humans. The male specimens can produce such a loud noise by rubbing parts of their body together that it can literally scare off predators. If none of the above worked, they can always squirt their own blood at the predator. Insect blood is acrid, smelling, and distasteful, and they can squirt it up to 6 centimeters. Finally, if everything else failed, they will empty the contents of their stomachs, covering their bodies with their own vomit. Yikes. Thing is, if they do decide to go with this gross vomit tactic, once the threat is over, they have to clean it up real fast. Because I kept from mentioning one important fact about the long-legged armored Katie did. They are cannibals. So, yeah, if they don't get rid of their vomit, other long-legged armored Katie dids will come and eat them alive. This is such a lovely insect species, isn't it? Number 9. 
Elephant Hawk Moth These magnificent moths can grow quite big. They grow to an average size of 3 to 5 inches with a wingspan of up to 8 inches. There are more than 1,450 species of hawk moths in the world, and they are scattered on almost all continents. They only live for about 10 to 30 days, and that's why this species gives rise to multiple generations each year. A female elephant hawk moth can lay around 100 eggs in one single season. Those eggs will turn into caterpillars, which will pupate themselves, and then, in its final form, a gorgeous elephant hawk moth emerges. These insects can't just talk to each other like we do. Instead, they communicate by releasing pheromones, which signal other moths of their presence. Scientists have recently discovered that they can also communicate through ultrasounds. They can fly at an estimated speed of 12 miles per hour, and they mainly eat nectar. Number 8. Pyrops condylaria. This odd yet adorable looking little insect is a species of plant hopper. They've been seen in Cambodia, Vietnam, Hong Kong, Laos, Thailand, and some other Southeast Asian countries. They feed on plant sap, and one of their favorites is lychee. These little guys have good taste. The peculiar long red nose that you see is called a cephalic process. Pyrops condylaria are very sought after by collectors because of their colorful and unique appearance. When they deploy their wings, the ones underneath are of a bright orange color with black toward the tips. They are commonly called lantern bug, and even though they have a long red nose, don't worry, they won't lie to you. And they are also absolutely harmless little creatures. Number 7. Creatonatos gangus did you know that moths can have tentacles? Of course, they look nothing like those of an octopus. Imagine that. No, the Creatonatos gangus' tentacles look more like feathers, actually. The males use their four white feathery tentacles, called coromata, to release pheromones in the hope of attracting a suitable mate. This remarkable and beautiful moth lives in Southeast Asia and Australia. It was first described by Carl Linnaeus in his book Centuria Insectorum, published in 1763. And even if they look quite small, the Creatonatos gangus have a wingspan of 4 centimeters. The abdomen is bright red with a line of distinctive black dots. The males also have four large coromata, or scent organs, that exceed the length of their abdomen while inflated. The female lays neat little rows of eggs on the leaves of food plants. The eggs are yellow and perfectly round. The Creatonatos gangus's caterpillars, on the other hand, are a brown and hairy little animal with a yellow stripe along their back. The caterpillars are known to be a mild pest because they mainly feed on ground nuts such as rice, coffee, sweet potato, and lucerne crops. Number 6. Catacanthus incarnates Also known as the man-faced stink bug, this little guy hails from Southeast Asia to India. They are notorious pests. They can congregate in dense groups of several hundred individuals on fruit trees and flower trees alike. They come in various bright colors, such as red, yellow, orange, and cream. Scientists believe that the colors are there to warn off potential predators, because the man-faced stink bug has a secret hidden weapon. In the worst case scenario, they are quite poisonous, and in the best case scenario, they taste horrible. This species is considered as a very high threat to plants like cotton, corn, soybean, and cashew tree crops. So you can imagine that farmers aren't really a big fan of them, and they're starting to invade the United States too. In fact, not hundreds, but millions of man-faced stink bugs are expected to invade the east coast of America. And when temperatures drop, guess where they like to take refuge? In people's homes. So if you live anywhere near the East Coast, get your bug repellent ready, because they're coming for you. But jokes aside, apparently commercial pesticide actually doesn't work with these little pests. If you find that your home has been infested, you'll need to take them out manually. The best way is to suck them up with your vacuum cleaner, but then you'll need to buy a new one, because the one you use to get rid of these guys will smell terrible forever. Number 5. Lychee Shield Bug Jewel Bug this gorgeous little insect looks like it never got over the 80s, with its metallic bright colors and dots. It looks like it's on its way to the gym at Venice Beach in Los Angeles. But actually, the jewel bug doesn't live in the United States, but in China. 
and for the most part, they are completely harmless, except they produce a very offensive odor when they feel threatened. And yes, they are related to stink bugs. At first glance, they may look like a tiny beetle, but they are in fact a bug. Females lay clusters of eggs around twigs and guard them until they hatch. The nymphs are often a different color to the adults. These shiny little insects feed on plant juices from a variety of different species, including some commercial crops, but they've never been categorized as a pest. Jewel beetles are highly prized among insect collectors due to their unique colors. The more spectacular, the more highly sought after, of course. In fact, several cultures throughout history have used the jewel beetle carapace for decorative purposes, such as jewelry or in religious ceremonies. They even made their carapaces into powder to make makeup for royal family members. Number 4. Wax Tail Hopper this strange and imperial looking little bug lives in the Amazon rainforest. Wax tail hoppers feed on plant juice by inserting their mouths into the phloems of the plant, which apparently is a thing and I think I said it right. They then convert the nutrients of the plant into long, bizarre looking wax plumes, which is exactly what makes them look like an emperor wearing an ermine fur white cape. Scientists have long tried to figure out the purpose of the wax plumes, but to no avail. However, entomologists think the primary use of them is defensive. But let me ask you something. Have you ever had the misfortune of tasting by accident your own earwax? It's nasty, isn't it? Well, apparently, this little clever bug has figured out that his wax tastes horrible to his predators. This is a very ingenious defense strategy that doesn't really hurt anybody. Female specimens also use the wax plumes to cover their eggs to protect them from parasites and to keep them from drying. It's a very handy, multi-purpose wax, if you ask me. What happens if the waxy tail breaks off? Don't worry, the wax-tailed hopper will grow a new one. The wax-tailed hopper is also known for its quick movements that are not unlike that of a grasshopper. Between its unusual tail and lacy-looking wings, the hopper is, without a doubt, one of the most distinctive insects found in rainforests throughout the world. Number 3. Brazilian Tree Hopper Also known as Bocidium globular, this strange little bug looks like a futuristic helicopter designed in the 60s or something out of a Ray Bradbury novel. I know what you're asking yourself, what on earth are those little black balls? Are they eyes? Antenna? A hairdo worthy of a royal wedding? Well, the purpose of the bizarre helicopter-like orbs called pronotum is still today something of a mystery. Researchers believed at one point that they may function like a peacock's tail, used by males to show off their genetic superiority and vigor to potential mates. But that theory is highly unlikely, as both female and male Brazilian tree hoppers are endowed with the balls, so to speak. Maybe they've evolved to look like they have a second sort of fake head to mislead their predators. Actually, recent studies suggest that the bizarre structures over their heads evolved to mimic the handiwork of a very dangerous parasitic fungus called Ophiocordyceps unilateralis, which ruthlessly invades the bodies of ants and literally turns them into submissive zombies. Predators know that an infected ant is best to be left alone, otherwise the alien-style fungus may infect them too. This is a fascinating defense strategy, and extremely effective, too. Number 2. Alligator Bug As beautiful and delicate as ladybugs look, their larva isn't quite the showstopper. Yes, this terrifying little critter is the larva of our beloved lady beetle. Alligator bugs are mostly black and look like a miniature version of an alligator, and they kind of behave similar to one, too. Not many people know this, but ladybugs are actually quite skilled predators. They prey on other small insects, although they also feed on leaves and plant juice. But the alligator bug feeds solely on other insects. That's why a female lady beetle will always try to lay her eggs near a colony to ensure her offspring's food source. Their favorite snacks being aphids. In fact, an adult ladybug can eat as many as 5,000 aphids in its lifetime. So imagine how many their larvae can eat. But who's counting, right? I mean, considering that aphids are a terrible pest that can easily destroy entire gardens and certain crops, a lot of people actually buy alligator bugs on the internet to release them into their property to combat aphid infestations. They're kind of like the mercenaries of the insect world. You call them when the problem's gotten out of hand. 
Number 1. Golden Tortoise Beetle Did you know that people think that after the butterfly, the beetle is the second most attractive type of insect? It's because of their mesmerizing metallic color, and the golden tortoise beetle is no exception. It belongs to the family of leaf beetles, which means they feed on plants and leaves. They are native to North America, and apparently their population is in growth and can be found in abundance. Finally, some good news from the animal kingdom. They can be found in gardens on plant foliage and leaves, so if you have a garden, you know what to do. They're not hard to find because they all live together in very large groups. If you see something shining through the foliage, it's possibly a golden tortoise beetle family. Their absolute favorite snack is the vines of sweet potatoes, bindweed, and morning glory. They live for about 40 days from when they hatch from their egg until they pass away as adults. They mate during the summer season, and females hide their eggs on the underside of leaves from a food plant. This beetle grabs a lot of attention from people around the world because of their golden metallic color and the unique transparent shell that covers their bodies. As you can see, there are so many types of insects in this world, and we keep discovering loads more each year. What about you? Of all the bugs in this video, which one is your all-time favorite? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.